average UK house prices have now risen by 30% from the 2009 bear market low to currently stand at an average price of 204k according to the Halifax October data and are currently galloping along at an annual inflation rate of 10%. However, the UK average price masks huge regional variations in trend and momentum, most notable of which is that London has literally soared into the stratosphere, up over 70% on its bear market low and by virtue of which has pulled the average UK house prices indices higher with it as illustrated by this graph. I will come back to London's housing market mania in detail in a separate video. Whilst in this analysis, my forecast will be on what is taking place in the regions, which have so far lagged far behind London's mania. The most obvious pattern being observed is that the nearer a region is to London, then the greater the house price inflation experience. Therefore, London is acting as the bull market's epicenter that is rippling out waves of capital which are mostly being absorbed by the surrounding southeast region. Then the next reg nearest regions along, all the way to Britain's most furthest region, Scotland, which, has, which was not helped by Scotland's attempted suicide. That was the 2014 independence referendum which held Scotland's housing market back until after the election outcome was known. Whilst Northern Ireland, the smallest UK region, has observed the greatest volatility given its heavy reliance on central government spending so as to help prevent the locals from once again sparking civil conflict, Northern Ireland saw house prices reach a bubble mania peak of 227k in 2007 which was followed by an equally spectacular collapse to just 90k as recently as the middle of 2013, the last to bottom. With the subsequent trend to 121k attempting to play catch up with the rest of the UK. Apart from the southeast, the rest of the UK's regions tend to lag far beyond far behind the UK average. Nevertheless, some of the current deviations are at extremes when compared against the averages of the past 20 years, thus offering investor possibilities as well as warnings. The Southeast As expected, the Southeast is the second most expensive UK region after London, that is currently showing a plus 8% deviation against the long term trend as the London bubble continues to spill over into the neighbouring towns and cities. East Anglia Again, near to London means spillover of capital flooding into the East Anglia, which is currently showing a plus 4% deviation against the long term average. Northern Ireland Historically, Northern Ireland tends to lag the UK average by minus 22%. The current lag is minus 40% a deviation of minus 18% which shows that Northern Ireland is the UK's cheapest housing market. Though that does not mean that a rapid bull run is imminent as government spending cuts will impact Northern Ireland harder than most other regions, which is thus reflected in the house prices. Nevertheless, the small size and volatility of Northern Ireland's housing market does present an opportunity for profit from a future bubble blow-off as occurred during 2007, i.e. by the time Northern Ireland peaks, house prices could easily more than double from current levels. The North, West Midlands and Wales. These three regions are all showing similar deviations from the average of minus 6% to minus 7%, which is not so surprising given the relative distance from the London property bubble epicenter. The South West The media often tends to overhype the impact of London capital pushing up South West house prices beyond the affordability of the locals. However, the South West is currently exhibiting a minus 5% deviation 
So reality is not quite matching the media hype. Scotland. The Scottish housing market has bounced back strongly following the near death experience of the independence referendum. And so far the oil price collapse has not done much damage to Scottish house prices which are only showing a minus 4% deviation against the 20 year average. And finally the rest. The remaining regions are lagging behind between minus 2% and minus 4% against the 20 year average which should eventually play catch up against the overextended regions. Of special note is Yorkshire and Humberside which is showing surprising relative strength by only exhibiting a minus 2% deviation which may in part be due to the prospects for HS2 and HS3 but definitely something positive is brewing in the Yorkshire and Humber area which is also one of my favourite UK locations for the emergence of a new megacity, Manfield. Another point to mention is to expect stronger house price inflation in the major cities than towns and villages and of course especially the affluent areas of cities that on average will be experiencing a positive deviation to the UK average i.e. far outperforming the regional averages. The bottom line is that at this point in time Northern Ireland represents the best value for money in terms of long term investment opportunities whilst the South East is the most expensive when compared against the rest of the UK but not when compared against London which will be the focus of my next video. It is now 23 months since excerpted analysis and the concluding 5 year trend forecast from the then forthcoming UK housing market ebook was published as the following illustrates. Therefore in conclusion my UK house prices forecast is for the Halifax non-seasonally adjusted house prices index to target a trend to an average price of £270,600 by the end of 2018 which represents a 55% price rise on the most recent Halifax prices data of £174,671 for November. Again note that this analysis in this video is merely an excerpt from the total analysis in arriving at this trend forecast. So do refer to my UK housing market ebook which will be available for free download from the middle of January 2014. In terms of the current state of the UK housing bull market, the Halifax average house prices data for October 2015 of £204,000 is currently showing a 4.5% deviation against the forecast trend trajectory which if it continues to persist for the term of the 5 year forecast for a 55% rise in average UK house prices that would translate into an 11% reduction in the forecast outcome to approximately 44% rise by the end of 2018. The bottom line is that the mega trend drivers of out of control immigration, lack of house building, flood of foreign capital and the UK government's perpetual inflation of the debt bubble ensures that the UK housing bull market will continue despite any hate such as that which the buy to let sector is currently taking. Ensure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel for more housing market videos with my next video on the London property bubble and then the US housing market.